David Renter. Hello, we are in Bonn for the International Film Festival. And you, you are the director for the single shot. The single shot is your fifth film, and you are beginning with a documentary. Why are you beginning with documentary and continue with fiction? Encore en, en, en français, s'il te plaît Alors. Non, non, non. <laughs> um, uh, you asked me why I went from documentary of, uh, filmmaking into narrative filmmaking. And uh, I guess the, the most simple answer would be my intention was always to make narrative films. And, uh, but I always loved documentaries. I, I would still like to go back and make another documentary at some point. Um, the documentary film I made uh, was about a, uh, a friend of mine who ran for Congress who was black and who was a Republican, which is a very strange combination. Um, even stranger because he grew up in the deep south of America and uh, where being a black Republican is extremely rare. So it was, a, it was an interesting political study and it was an interesting personal study and because I had a unique um, entree into this uh, guy's, uh, you know, into, and a friendship with him, I had, I had a special, it was a special relationship and um, I, got, I was able to get closer to someone running for a congressional seat than one would normally get and um, uh, so I followed him for a long time. Um, and, and made that movie over many years. Um, as you probably know, documentary filmmaking is very difficult. Uh, it's a sort of, it's a, it takes a long time. It's a real labor of love. And, you know, in the States anyway, it's hard to get funding for these things. So, um, because I'm a whore and I, I need to make money, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, But uh, no, I, 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 I finished that film and you know, we took it around to the festivals and um, you know, it got a very nice response and it got out there and, and then I moved my attention to, uh, to narrative film. And today you are here for the present your film, a single short, it's a thriller. Why had you run a film? What did you make? Why, why did I make a thriller? Um, well, I, I love noir films. I love Um, American noir from the 30s and the 40s and the 50s. I love French noir. I love, I love the genre. I love thrillers, um, big and small, um, whether the, whether they be more on the commercial side or more on the art house side. I've always been drawn to them. I find that the, you know, the, the level of, of jeopardy in that kind of filmmaking is, is, is terrific. And, and there's a real opportunity to do, to marry um, you know, a, a art and commerce in, in that genre, more so maybe than, than other genres. Um, and uh, so I had done a couple of comedies, I did a drama, and then I wanted uh, very much to, to make a, a thriller, um, a, a noir movie. Because um, I, I, you know, I, I know that it is a, th a thriller, quote unquote, and, but it's also, uh, You know, noir is almost, it's not a genre, it's a way of sort of describing the kind of film. The film can be um, sort of um, a traumatic, a mystery film, it could also be noir. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm drawn to many different kinds of filmmaking. I don't want to just um, make one brand of, of film, I, I want to, you know, branch out and make many kinds of films. You have a master degree in writing and what is just a, was it just a passion or an hobby or what is, was it a, a real ambition to write script film? Well, uh, my master's uh, in writing was in specifically in poetry. Um, so before I was a filmmaker, uh, you know, I was writing poetry and short fiction and uh, you know, it was good. It wasn't just a hobby, it was a serious endeavor on, on my part and something I really care about and, and I still write um, and, I, and I've written you know, a lot of um, the screenplays that I've directed and I will continue to write. 
um, and I don't have to write uh, the films that I direct, but you know, I, I like to have my hand in it. Um, so writing was more sort of my first art form. Maybe photography was my first art form, and then and then and then writing. Um, but the written word is something I care very much about. Okay, and it's the first time you come in France, in, uh, in Monterey and in Burgundy. What is the signification for you of this film festival? Um, well, if I'm honest, I you know I I learned about this film festival only after we were invited to come here, and I've since come to to know that it's a uh, a festival with a very interesting history, um, a lot of. Uh, great films have come here to this festival and, and where it was situated before and interesting filmmakers and tribute uh, to interesting filmmakers and, um, and it's wonderful to be in, in France um, you know, where films and filmmaking is, uh, is really respected, probably more so in, in the States. What of project uh, do you have some idea on film? Uh, my next project? Yeah, I have that I'm developing right now. One of them is a uh, boxing, an American folk hero boxer um, that I'm uh, doing with Sam Rockwell. Again, he's going to play this boxer. Sam has a lot of experience as a boxer himself. And, um, and uh, this terrific American producer, Michael Costigan, produced this movie, Stoker, which is at the festival. He's producing it. And, um, and then I'm doing a, another movie which I wrote. Um, uh, it's a thriller set in Alaska, which we're trying to get our cast together for now. So one of, one of these movies, or maybe another, will be the next one. Okay, and for a finish, what is, the, for you, the best director? Oh, that's a that's a difficult question. Uh, it's a question. It's a slippery question because uh, for me, you know, one minute uh, the best, my favorite director is one person. I mean, if you had asked me five years ago, I might have said Tarkovsky. If you had asked me, you know, um, a couple of years ago, I might say Kurosawa. I might say John Ford. I might say Billy Wilder. I might say the Coen Brothers. Um, you know, um, I, I, there's there's many. Can't, it's like music, you know. When mm -hmm. someone asks you, "What's your favorite? What's your favorite band?" I just like I can't, I can't, I can't answer that. I have to give you like ten favorite bands. Um, but uh, but yeah, those are some some filmmakers that I gravitate to. Do you remember your first film you see? Uh, the very first. F well, I'll tell you something. I remember one of the first films that that inspired me um, as, as a young man to, and, and made me think, oh, I, I would love to make a film. I would love to, you know, do that. How do you do that? And it was a, a John Huston movie called The Man Who Would Be King, uh, which is a great film based on a Rudyard Kipling story um, with Michael Caine and Sean Connery. And it was just such a, there was such, a, such an epic story and it was so transporting that it, uh, it grabbed me, you know, and that's for me, that's, that's the thing about films that, that I want and aspire to, to do as much as I can, is to take someone, grab them, pull them in, and take them on a, on a ride, on a journey, and, you know, so that you're not even thinking about being in the theater, you know, that's the most ideal thing when you're on the edge of your seat and just totally engrossed, so. Yeah. Great, thank you so much. Thank you.